Johnny at JST Arms and today I want to go over my range bag. Every time I go to the range I forget something so I made this bag so it'll help me out a lot more. This bag should cover everything from shotgun, pistol to rifle. Uh, that's because it's what I have. Obviously if you don't have a shotgun or a pistol or a rifle you won't have that stuff in there. The range bag is a very personal thing. You set it up for what you need. I'm going to start on the outside of my range bag. First off is the reloading pouches. A lot of people will forget their reloading pouches. Now on the outside of my pack, I got my shotgun reloading pouch. Has uh, a few shotgun shells in there. Also got a Mosin Nagat ammo on a stripper clip. Pouch I use for, I don't have any food in there right now, but I usually put some granola bars in there or something yummy, some uh, chocolate bars, maybe energy drink, so, or even a bottle of water. So that way I have something to munch on or a little snack when I'm out there in case I get hungry. Two extra pistol mag holders. Uh, these clip on your belt. Um, I don't really like these that much due to the fact that the noise, they do retain them pretty good, but they do make a lot of noise and rattle around. Um, I mainly prefer the cloth pouches. These are just in case I didn't bring them. Same thing with the shotgun. Uh, and then we'll spin this around. And this pouch just holds extra set of iron sights pretty much I use them for backup sights in case my optic goes down I got something and I don't have to go back to the house and grab it small pouch put your cleaning gear in there um, it easily detaches so I can just open it up and just get, get to work on uh, whatever needs to be cleaned the uh, iPro I have iPro on the side and with iPro these are ESS these are pretty much what the, is issued except I got the shooting glass uh, yellow for the ice glasses um, and I also got a couple fo fog prevention cloths in there so that way I can uh, won't fog up when I'm shooting um, a thing that I don't have in here I'd like a small bottle of Windex so make sure they're nice clean and clear um, usually I just use my cotton t-shirt and rub them in it's usually pretty adequate for that a lot of people when they get to the range for your targets. So I got these basic sighting in targets. These pretty much can cover everything from sighting in, obviously, to just plain shooting. You can use them for that too. Um, then I got my shooting gloves. I also got, in case I didn't wear a belt, I got an extra shooter's belt. It's actually a Micmat belt, but it's, it's, I never really used it, so it's nice and new and not all messed up. And then I got a just a light shirt. This is the only clothing other than the, obviously the gloves. I just got a light kind of poly pro shirt just in case it gets cold and chilly. You don't want to be shaking while you're shooting and that shirt is lightweight but yet it'll warm me up enough. Uh, so that's it for there. And then on the bottom of this pack I got a, um, you can use binos. Uh, I got a spotting scope. Uh, this helps to see where you hit your target. So I get that in the bottom. Now that's the main pouch. Let's work our way back to the other pouch. Now this pouch is where I store all the magazine things. Like I said, uh, I like cloth pouches, extra cloth pouches for AR style mags. With the, these mags, I love them because it's Velcro. These are made by Condor. I'll be doing a review and these can detach, making it easier to use different style mags that are taller or if you want to convert them into speed reloads. It's every, everything from AR-15 mags, M14 mags, AK-74 mags, AK-47 mags, nine millimeter mags, obviously er everything that you would need when you, bring, when you go to the range with any firearm should be covered that uses magazines. Now let's move on to the next pouch. This is the smallest pouch, but it uh, carries a few good things in here. Uh, black tape so it can put over the holes when you're shooting. Uh, if you're using like a black silhouette background, I got more targets that do use this. Um, I also got the blue targets in. I wish I had, but I ran out of uh, painter's tape. Works very good for covering the holes for pasties. Uh, BFA, I really don't use this, but if I ever go to a shooting, class or course, uh, I got a BFA to shoot blanks. 
Also got another cleaning rod. Well, not cleaning rod. I also got another cleaning snake in here. I got two spare slings. I got the one point sling for more tactical shooting in case I forgot it. And I also got a basic two point sling. It's an old military sling. It's uh, just a basic sling, a two point sling. And I got, every, I got an extra brush in here for cleaning. And the rest of this is just stripper clips, the clips themselves in there. So that's it for the small pouch. Now in the small front pouch, I got a black marker, a lighter uh, silver marker, and a uh, pencil. Because I don't like to carry pens because usually they explode on me because I have great luck with that. Um, this is a... Uh, safety check for uh, usually AR-15s, but it may work in uh, other calibers as well, probably even pistol. Uh, extra muzzle, uh, muzzle brake for a Mosin Nagat, attaches with a bayonet. Note taking material, uh, bore sights, extra batteries for uh, the flashlight. Uh, also got a stream light. And then I got a system where it attaches so you, you can put a camera on there since I'm into YouTube, obviously, and uh, you guys can see my perspective of shooting. Also forget, I got a, a standard US government issue cleaning kit here, the old school one. I don't really like to use the rods, but sometimes you may need to use them to get the obstruction out. But, uh, I got those right there. And uh, something I almost forgot, I don't know how I missed it. Actually, I do know how I missed it. There's a secret pouch back here. And this has uh, the range tool. This is uh, a basic range tool. It's made for uh, guns. It's called the gun tool, actually. Right there. This is gun tool. Uh, but it pretty much has a majority of uh, everything you'll need. Uh, flathead, uh, Phillips, uh, everything in there. That you need to fix a firearm. Uh, if you guys want any more further reviews of the gear or any gear that's on this bag uh, or the bag itself, just let me know. I may uh, I may review some of the things that I think are really good about uh, there are things that are in this bag. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in here is I don't like to use a staple gun. I use tacks to tack up my uh, targets. Um, it works the best for me. Uh, I don't have any right now. I gotta pick some up. And I also go pick up the blues painter's tape uh, to use those pasties. But other than that, this is my complete range bag. Oh yeah, and the food, you need food. Well, you don't really need food, but I like to have it there just watch on something you get hungry. So that way you can mentally shoot a lot better. You're not worried about food. When I go to the range, I have a checklist. The reason why I don't like ammo in the range bag because sometimes it gets loose, it gets lost, it gets, you know, it gets down in there and it never gets accounted for. So mainly for accountability reasons, I like to have my ammo all in one place. And when I go to the range, I usually carry them in these MTM cases. Um, I take the MTM cases and I have a little shoulder bag I throw them into. It's nothing special. It's just a pretty much like a man purse. Yes, a man purse. And I throw these in there and then I bring it to the range. It's, it's just a normal bag. And that's how I transport my ammo. But everything else is in my range bag. Obviously not the firearms. I don't put firearms in my range bag as well. Firearms, ammunition, they get accounted for separately. And I know I did forget a few things. I got a Ear Pro in here as well. It's in my cleaning kit just for me. But I also have another set of uh, the nice ear muffs coming that I'm going to add in there. Um, the painter's tape so I can use it for pasties and obviously the food. Um, but at pretty much this is my complete range pack uh, other than those things. Now that was a review of my range pack. If you guys have any improvements or suggestions, list them below so that way I can improve my range bag. So uh, thank you for watching. you have any suggestions that I, I should do to my range bag or anything, list them below. This bag is lightweight. It doesn't weigh that much. I would probably guess probably around 40 pounds, 35 pounds. 
Uh, I don't think that's really a lot when it has everything you need when it covers shotgun, pistol, and rifle. So, uh, like I said, this concludes my video. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.